Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be testing out glow-in-the-dark acrylic paint. This video did not turn out exactly the way I had intended it to. I was planning on filming it as a tutorial and I was for most of it and then I realized this was taking way too long for just a quick tester tutorial so I'm going to speed it up and I will tell you my thoughts about the glow-in-the-dark paint. So here's our glow-in-the-dark paint by Folk Art. I got the 8-ounce version. Um, both the instructions and the reviewers on Amazon said that you really need multiple coats for it to do a really good job. This says to let dry an hour between each coat. Will I do that? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. And it also says to mix well before use, so I'm going to try mixing it with a chopstick in the bottle. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but we're gonna give it a shot. I am now applying the glow-in-the-dark paint to the painting. It appears to go on clearly, so finish painting whatever it is you're doing first and then apply the glow-in-the-dark stuff on top of it. As you can see, I'm just painting right over the top of everything on my ghost and it's completely transparent. It did make the um, facial features a little bit foggy, so I touch them up a little later. And again, you'll want to plan on applying a few different coats for the best effect and to leave it in sunlight for the most brilliant results. So far I have added two coats. I did not wait the requisite hour between coats. So, oops, this is what I've got so far. Friendly little ghost painting. I have not turned out the lights on this yet. It says you can use it on all porous surfaces. Maybe we should see how it looks with just the two layers. Let's find out. Okay, I wasn't really sure how to test a glow in the dark video because I don't think I can film at night per se, but this is my shadow box that I put in uh, Still Lifes and this is just a pillowcase I thought would help darken things. And then I've got this flap that I was gonna pull over to see if it works. Let's see. Oh, it is glowing a little bit. That's kind of cool. I moved to a dark room because it just was too bright where I was setting up before, so I've taken the whole box to a dark, darkened room, and I can clearly see the ghost picking up on the camera and nothing else is. I'm going to definitely be adding some more coats and see if that becomes a bit more pronounced. Oh yeah, this is the third coat. And I also left it in some light for a while. Now we're definitely talking. That is super cool. I wish you could see it as well as I do in real life. I don't think that's picking up super well, but that is really super, super cool. Okay, well that was fun. I'm going to probably keep adding some more coats to it and just keep trying it and see how it looks watch my Facebook and Instagram. I'll upload my results there. Anyway, thank you for joining me as I tested out this new product. The link to purchase it will be in the description below if you are interested in trying it out. As always, thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!